Setting your vehicle up for Cape York uh, involves a few things. Uh, water preparation is one of them. In Cape York, there's a lot of deep water crossings, anything from sort of knee height up to uh, over waist height. So we want to make sure that we've got a raised air intake or a snorkel on our car. We want to make sure that our different transmission breathers have been raised to a, a higher height and uh, that any other items that are likely to be submerged to that level are, are suitable to being submerged. So whether you've got compressors under your vehicle or any, any electronics hanging low that can't be submerged, we need to relocate them to a higher position. Suspension is important. Uh, to do Cape York, I'd suggest you, you need a, around about a two inch lift. Um, there are a lot of technical obstacles if you are going to do uh, the tele track and the other popular tracks around the Cape. Uh, it will make your life a lot more pleasant if you have some sort of race suspension. And seal protection, that's the other one. So again, with those obstacles, if we're tackling those tracks, um, I would suggest some sort of steel step or rock slider uh, to give your door seals some protection against uh, uneven obstacles. You also want to make sure that your tyres are suitable for the Cape. Uh, there is a lot of mud and sand on the Cape, so you want at least an all-terrain tyre. You want something that's got some durability about it. You are going to be travelling up and down, even if you go the PDR route, you're still going to be travelling up and down some harsh corrugated roads with stones in them, and that can be hard on highway tyres. So you want to make sure you've got a good quality, all-terrain at least, preferably mud-terrain tyre for that sort of trip. We often get asked about fuel considerations for Cape York trips. Uh, Cape York has a lot of fuel opportunities. Um, there's roadhouses and fuel stations all over the Cape. As long as you've got a range of three to 400 kilometres, you're pretty safe. Um, the, the longest sort of stretch would be no more than 300 k's, depending where you're going. But you don't need a long range tank or any extra fuel to create a, to complete a Cape York trip. Recovery equipment is important. When you're doing the Cape, like I said earlier, there are a lot of technical obstacles you need to negotiate. If you're doing all the tracks, the Frenchman's and the, and the tele track, things like that. Um, having rated recovery points is important. Uh, having a winch is super helpful. Uh, you, that way you're not relying on other cars to pull you out. And then having rated recovery equipment. So whether you have you know, your ropes, straps, shackles, that sort of thing, uh, that's very important to get through all those obstacles if you do need help. You can see our teams at one of our Adrenaline Off-Road stores and they'll help you select the right accessories to get your vehicle up to the Cape safely. If you're unsure about your Cape York trip and you want some company, uh, you can have the option of joining one of our HEMA tag along tours to the Cape. Uh, there are the details on our page on how you can join us on one of those trips.